Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and welcome to my new series for you all today. Today, I bring you guys an Iron Man series. This is going to be From Barrows to Best in Slot, episode number one. Now, the goal of this series is to upgrade my current Best in Slot gear, which is all Barrows, to Armadil and Bandos. And while we're doing that, we're going to be obtaining better weapons and better jewelry as we go along. And once I complete God Wars and I kill enough demonics to complete all the Zen jewelry i will then be moving on to bigger and better things and we really will be going for best in slot for every item and every piece of gear in the game today we start the journey off and we're going to be doing god wars specifically armadil so here we are obtaining some ecumenical keys even getting a collection log drop down for our first key that really proves right there that i haven't done much god wars at all on this account and while i was also getting these ecumenical keys i was obtaining some wilderness tasks uh some diary tasks medium and elite and I think I'll also be looking into diaries as well as combat achievements in this series as well because who doesn't love variety and upgrades of all sorts of fashion? Well, here we are. We obtained two ecumenical keys, so it's time to start Armadil. I believe I'm starting at eight kill count. I think I did eight kills uh, in hopes of getting an item long time ago, but here we are going to continue onwards from eight. I am using some of the red chinchampas that I had during the course of doing Hunter at a very low uh, stage on my Iron Man account many, many years ago, so we're going to be using the 15 thousand red chins in the bank but if they're not strong enough i'll also uh, be moving on to black chin chompas so we do have to hunt those manually though i will say that some people like to do ceradomen first to unlock the acb but me personally i find that most of my damage at criara comes from the chin chompas but either way our first trip was somewhat of a success we did get a hard clue scroll and uh, about 68k in drops built a quick stash unit for this hard clue and we obtained the casket very quickly so let's go ahead and open this up we're not going to be saving any caskets towards the end we're just going to be opening up as we go along. So nice unlock Bando's Coif. That'll go well with the Wilderness God Wars dungeon for when I get ecumenical keys. So it's actually a very useful, unique from a clue scroll. Well, back at Armadil, this is our second key. And one thing I love about Armadil is that it doesn't really have that many uh, alkable drops, but it does have useful drops. For example, the dwarf weeds, which I'll be using to make range potions. I really don't farm that many dwarf weeds, and I only have about 100 range potions in the bank. So all of them will be used, and those crushed nests will be accounted for as well to make Ceradomen brews, but either way, I have a lot of Ceradomen brews and super restores banked, so this should make the grind a little easier. Kill count 21, 145 steel arrows. That's a 1 in 1,000 drop, so I'm not too happy about that, but I'll pick it up, you know, maybe use them for something in the future. Following that, though, another hard clue scroll. I love killing the minions just for that one reason. I doubt I'll ever get lucky enough to get a rare, but it's nice to get these clues, and I uh, also price check every Every single inventory after I finish a trip and from the clue scroll we did receive 40k not the best but I do enjoy price checking everything after every inventory just to kind of see what I got uh, a lot of it just is the same a lot of coins a lot of crushed nests the occasional black dehyde top as well as a rune crossbow but while I was gaining ecumenical keys I did get a medium clue nothing too exciting from that uh, but again I'll do any tier clue scroll in this series just because it keeps things a little interesting and I still would like to go for collection log slots at the same time. About 86k from that trip, not too bad. I was averaging about 5 to 7 armadil kills every inventory with these red chin chompas. Uh, we're around kill count 40 now. I definitely wasn't enjoying the lack of kills every inventory, so this is when I decided let's go catch some black chin chompas, get some hunter XP because we are nearing 99 after doing a thousand herbivore a few weeks ago. And hunter is actually one of my favorite skills. I see that they've updated so that anytime you click on a box trap, it automatically resets it for you so that's uh, that's new I definitely noticed that and one thing I will say about this setup while hunting black chins obviously I can't anti PK with it but I can definitely escape with it uh, as you can see in a few instances throughout this grind I would just use an ice barrage on anyone who attacked me and then use the trees to my advantage and log out on them first inventory we caught about 170 black chins and here we are with our second inventory already at a hundred we are nearing I think 96 hunter at this point so not too far off from 99 I had this guy interrupt me. Uh, you know, he interrupted me with a compliment, but also he kept hitting me. So I had to freeze him and log out on him, but I'll take the compliment. And another few inventories later, we are now at 500 Black Chin Chompas. That should be enough for two good Armadil trips using 250 each time. I definitely noticed a difference in kill speed while using the Black Chins versus the Red. Uh, I still had to go through two minions each kill, but that's no problem at all. Uh, one thing I wish I did have was Bones to Peaches, but I will be unlocking that in next 
episode. And after the trip was over, I did create some house teleport tabs and use some Nightmare Zone redirection scrolls to get back to Trollheim quickly. So, probably gonna need a few of those. But here we are at 50 kill count. Got a nice little task completed as well. And uh, still no luck, you know, no early Iron Man luck. But 50 kills in, really can't complain too much. A nice 120k from that trip. And now it's time to catch another 500 Black Chinchampas. With a username like DPS Reaper, uh, I was definitely a little intimidated by this guy, but luckily his specs did not get the job done, and I did get away. Following this, another PKer, but we used the Ice Barrage method to get away from this one. I always make sure to bring tank gear and mage gear, just so that I won't be splashing 24-7 on these people that attack me. Well, we should have a Hunter level coming in here shortly. After a little bit of Black Chin grinding, we got 96 Hunter, so that is incredible just three off of 99 and one thing that's more incredible than a hunter level is the baby chinchampa another skilling pet on the iron man just a few weeks ago i showed you guys that i got the farming pet and right before that we got the giant squirrel so now we have all of the skilling pets minus the rift guardian but that is insane my luck on this account with pets has always been good and yeah it's nice to see it's still good back at armadillo we go and another hard clue scroll on top of that got some coin drops a pretty average 52k trip uh but from the hard clue scroll we got well 24k so that, that was a fail all around if you are wondering how i do armadil basically i just do chinchampas on the minion and then that does a lot of damage to Kree, and then after the kill is completed, I always stack up two minions and blood barrage for all my HP back. Well, a couple keys and a couple clues later, didn't really get too much from these, 12k from the easy, 8k from the medium, but back at this trip in Armadil, I did get my first drop, this being the God Sword Shard 3. I believe that is more unique than an item, but I do need it, so I can't really complain. I think I have the God Sword Shard 2 in the bank, so I'm still missing the first one. So now that we have the third we're only missing one more and we can get a god sword blade created after that 192k from that inventory and back at the black chins we go caught a nice 250 here and uh, just made my way back to armadillo sometimes i'd only catch enough for one inventory other times i'd go for two but here we are at 90 kriara kill count it uh, it's much harder than it is on my main account without an elijah and uh, all the good stuff so yeah i can definitely understand the iron man struggle here at armadillo i did manage to get an uncut sapphire fire i thought it was more rare than it was but i think it's like one in 118 so it's not that uncommon got a new collection log of dragon boots uh well you know i actually already have a lot of these items that are on the collection log that are shown as new but that's just because a lot of these items were obtained before the collection log was even a thing so if you're a little confused as to that uh that would be why but anyway back to armadillo another uncut sapphire and this one actually does hurt this drop would be uh considered rare one in 1000 for these adamant javelins that was on kill count 99 which brings us to 100 kills into Kriara now we did obtain another hard clue so I'll make sure to do that and with this kill we have obtained an elite combat task Kriara veteran 100 kills in still no armadillo drop other than the adamant javelins as well as the god sword shard I would say I'm pretty dry but I got away from that PK or though so that's good really don't mind going a little dry at armadillo uh, mainly because it's not the worst boss in the world it's actually one of my favorites on my main account and once you get the hang of it on an iron man it's not too bad on there either it's just annoying when you have uh really bad luck and no food drops but either way from a hard glue scroll that i got during armadillo 75k so i'll take it pretty average uh, following that another pair of dragon boots from spiritual mages while getting some more ecumenical keys getting a lot of range xp at armadillo using up all these red and black chin chompas but this brings us to 110 kc about 100k trip from that one uh not too bad I think I'm getting a little bit more uh, kills every inventory now. Did manage to get 41 law runes though, which is another 1 in 1016 drop, similar to the Adamant Javelins. Um, overall, that trip was 140k with a hard clue that was, uh, well, not the friendliest of numbers, but 66k. And here we are reaching 130 Armadillo kill count. So that's not too bad. Uh, from this inventory, I didn't really get too much, 102k. But in the following trip, I did get a God 
God Sword Shard 1. I might have misspoke earlier and said that I had uh, the first one already, but yeah, either way, this is the last piece needed to create the God Sword Blade, which will be my first ever God Sword once I get a hilt. There we have the blade created. It looks really nice. I hope I don't get the Armadil hilt simply because I don't really have any use for an Armadil God Sword on this account, but uh, I would love to get a Ceradoman hilt. I can see myself using the SGS with a lot of Slayer tasks. KC 147, the Elite Clue has been obtained. That is a 1 in 250 drop rate. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to complete it, but I did get a hard clue scroll after that, and I did complete that one. So we overall got about a 96k reward, more alkables, but it'll all add up in the end. I'll definitely show the Runelight Loot Tracker as well at the end. Quickly had to visit Bob and spend 160k fixing my Barrow's armor, and then I opened up a medium clue to a nice Strength Amulet T collection log. Back at Armadil, the grind never stops. I think we're on day two now. 150 kills in for our first drop. Ladies and gentlemen, 152 kill count. Armadil helmet coming in. Oh, I was a little... Well, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say I was disappointed because I knew that I needed this helmet. I mean, it's it's the first piece. We need it for a master clue. We need it for a best in slot range helm for now anyway. And uh, yeah, you know, you just always want the big ticket items, don't you? But either way, I will take it. I'm very happy that we broke the dry streak. I mean, I wouldn't even call it a dry streak, but I was just getting so tired of price checking these inventories at like 100k or less every single time. And it takes so much effort just to do this Armadil trip every time that it really uh, was a great feeling that paid off very well. And as you can see, just uh, tons of trips after and, and no luck since the helmet, but we are definitely thriving here. Completion of a hard clue and 420k from that duplicate Guthix chaps. And now it's time to try to spend our Slayer points. We uh, want to unlock Aviancies first, and that brings us down to 900 points. But on our first task attempt, we were assigned 200 Aviancies. 13k from a medium clue. And as a matter of fact, I wanted to spend all those Slayer points on receiving Hellhounds because I wanted to try Cerberus out for this episode. But in 1,000 points, the only thing I got was one Aviancy task, which was resulting in normal drops as well as a decent hard clue, 317k. And the other thing I was getting assigned a lot of was Black Demons, which uh, then kind of motivated me me to try out demonic gorillas since I'd be on task, which I'll be doing here very shortly. But here we are reaching 200 Kriara kill count. Uh, it was a lot of fun to do that Slayer task, and I really enjoyed the extra DPS from it. I mentioned before that while hunting Black Chins is hard to anti-PK, but if you find someone bad enough to kill, you can actually anti-PK with this setup. Who knew? And what the heck was that guy doing with 250 Sapphire Bolts? Well, following that, I got accused of AHK because I'm just too quick at two-way switches, you know. Following it up with trash, but I did get away, so that's good. I thought for a second I was going to kill this guy who claw-specked me while doing a master clue, but he brought food, unfortunately. And he loves the vids, so there's that. But anyway, opening up a medium clue, 5k from this. I really want to see Ranger Boots or something. 50k from the hard. And with our 200 avian C task completed, it's now time to get assigned some Demonic Gorillas. Uh, I'm going to figure out try my luck here. My luck was pretty average at Armadil, you know, I think I earned that Armadil helmet, and this was my first ever time killing demonic gorillas. As a matter of fact, I've done loot from 1,000 tortured gorillas on this account, but never demonics. Our first unique coming in early on, a light frame. Um, I do actually have a monkey tail that I received from my torture gorilla video, and I also have a ballista spring, so that light frame's not too bad. 141k from the hard clue, and 312k from just a basic inventory of demonic. Uh, I got a dragon spear, but I don't even want to check how rare that is, so I'm not going to. Following that, though, consistent profit from this task. Love to see these 400k and 300k inventories. Such amazing uh, alkable drops, as well as seeds, and just all sorts of useful things for the Iron Man. So it's really cool to be killing such beneficial monsters at this stage. Haven't really had any luck at all, and I did complete 144 demonic gorillas without a single Zenite drop. So, you know, my luck's not here. Apparently, not going to be spoon fed this time around. But Black Demons are such a common task assigned by Duradel that I got it assigned just a few tasks later. So I, I was actually getting consistent elite clues, but I was only able to complete one of them. That reward being so underwhelming that I don't actually feel bad that I can't complete
complete most of these elite clues. And nice dragon scimitar drop during our second demonic gorilla task, but not as nice as this beautiful Zenite shard. 7.4 mil, this is the first shard on the account, and this is going to make for a huge upgrade. Now we're going to go ahead and sell a lot of chaos runes, because I don't have the Karamja diaries completed, uh, in order to reach 300,000 total, so that I can buy an uncut onyx, since you need a cut onyx with a Zenite in order to create a piece of jewelry. So now that we have our onyx and all those chaos runes have been uh, torn through, I think that was like, what, almost 40,000 chaos runes. Uh, but yeah, I'm able to actually create a Zenite necklace, and then we're going to go ahead and enchant it, and now we have our necklace of anguish. Starting with a fury and ending with an anguish, that is now a best in slot completed. No matter how high level you are on your Iron Man, you always have to check in on your kingdom. Uh, sadly, I only had 37% of people favoring me, so I quickly changed that into 100. This is how I am going to get 99 construction one day, so I've been running this kingdom for many, many years, and yeah, I'll give you guys a little bit of an update towards the end of the video on that. But back to Demonic Gorillas we go. Did manage to get a hard clue after a few successful trips, and I got 191k from that, so that's awesome. Well, we really didn't have to wait too long for that second Zenite Shard to appear. Two in the same Slayer task. That is remarkable. Had to switch up the words there. And following that, actually in the same inventory, I got my second Ballista Spring, so I still have yet to been able to complete the uh, Heavy Ballista, but it's nice to get that. Now we have to go sell even more Chaos Runes. Gosh, I'm gonna be out of Chaos Runes before this video ends, uh, but we need another 300,000 total, and once we get that, we can purchase another Uncut Onyx. Then we have to cut it, and then go on to Ape Atoll with a Zombie Gree Gree, which I did reobtain somewhat quickly, since I did Monkey Madness 2. Then you go over here to the Wall of Flames, and you can fuse the Onyx and the Zenite together to create the Uncut Zenite. Now, I've already uh, claimed the Ed Necklace of Anguish, so we're gonna go ahead and go for the Ring of Suffering now. So we're gonna create a Zenite Ring, and then enchant it with uh, 93 Magic, creating the Ring of Suffering and adding 1,000 Rings of Recoil to it, and on top of that, imbuing it with 725,000 Nightmare Zone points. Well, I would say that was a very successful Black Demon task. Here we are doing a Dagoneth King task. I didn't do this whole task, I just wanted to kind of visit DK since I hadn't been here in so long on this account. I'm still missing the Seer's Ring, so I do have to go for that, probably in next episode, but I did get a Warrior Ring collection log. I already actually have the Warrior Ring, so it's not really new to me, but it was nice to uh, try out DKs and know what I'm uh, going to be up against for the next video. Well, I decided that I'm going to spend all of my Stardust and all of my unidentified minerals that I received while mining Amethyst on bag full of gems. These gems are going to be used to increase my crafting level so that I can one day create the Amulet of Torture. It's not too many gems, but this will definitely help out, and I figured I'd show you guys because, uh, yeah, I didn't know those minerals were so useful. I did the maze random because why not, but as it goes for the torture, I think I have the crafting level in order to boost for the uh, tormented bracelet, but I am going to need about three more crafting levels in order to boost for the torture. Well, after spending all my Slayer points, or what was left of them, I didn't receive any Hellhounds, so I figure now it's time to go back to Armadil off task and see if I can test my luck there with being over 200 kill count and already obtaining the helmet. Now I get to test out my Anguish and my Ring of Suffering, which definitely proved to be a game changer. I was doing much, much better kill trips, maybe even double the kills, and it was just going incredible, so I'm really happy with those upgrades. Kept getting disturbed while hunting Black Chins. I guess this is still a uh, popular PKing hotspot, but every time I come here, I never find anyone, so I don't know what's going on, but this serves me right. Probably karma for my KB Thief killing video recently, but either way, uh, back to Armadil, we are reaching 250kc. As you can see, just some average trips and uh, the occasional back to the black chin grind. One thing that was really nice is that I did not only hit 96 Hunter in this video, but I did hit 97, so we might actually reach 99 in next episode because I'm sure I'll be going back to Armadil. Yeah, we're gonna have to return to complete the set because, ladies and gentlemen, two out of three, we got the Armadil chest plate. Oh my gosh, 242kc, 33.7 mil. We now have the chest plate and the helmet. Now we only need the chain skirt, and if we somehow get the hilt before the chain skirt, we'll actually uh, almost be able to complete the log, minus the pet. But seeing as I'm 5,000 Armadil kills dry of the pet on my main, I don't think I'm going to be getting it anytime soon on the Iron Man. Well, it's time to claim the kingdom. We got about 4 million GP total from all of the herbs, bird nests, as well as the teak and mahogany logs, which I'll be using uh, in order to get 99 construction one day. Let's go ahead and price check all the things we got from Armadil. We got over 2 million GP, 387 dwarf weeds, which is equivalent to 387 
range potion. So I got all my supplies back basically with that. Some amazing progress. We got two armadillo items, a god sword blade, two more pairs of dragon boots, a baby chinchampa, ring of suffering, anguish amulet, as well as a couple other nice uniques. So it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching episode one. We're going to go ahead and show the rune light loot tracker. 76 mil was made total. Took around six days to complete, 10 hours a day. Uh, that's why I did the KBD video after because I needed a break from all this Iron Man grinding. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, I'm not just an Iron Man content creator, a PKer, a PVMer. I'm all of it. I love uploading different uh, accounts, different ideas, different series. I love it. It's what I live for. So if you guys enjoy this video, the best way to show it is to leave a comment below or just simply hit the like button and I will know that you guys want episode number two and I will get it to you within the next six days of grinding. I want to give a huge thank you to the YouTube channel members with a special shout out to Matthew Stivers, Deception Z, XX Zotic X, and Angel's Blood. And until next time, thank you for watching. Mr. No Sleep, out. Oh, also, if you need a new computer, feel free to use the coupon code Mr. No Ship Cost to save on shipping at ironsidecomputers.com.